Howdy folks, ladies and gentlemen, I have a new kit from a brand new company called Das Berk. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. It's the Farn L900 with trailer. It's a 135th scale. This kit is an absolute beast of a kit. It, the detail in this kit is second to none. It's absolute gorgeous. I've been uh, watching this kit for a while in its progress and I'm uh, talking about it and then finally it's been a bit now it's been released in, uh, in Europe and England and stuff uh, over the United States and stuff they've had theirs about two three weeks now um, I've finally got mine it's a transport truck heavy hauler back, back in in the wartime uh, you see on the box art nice art it's carrying a Panzer II, I believe, that tank is, and a Panzer II on the back. Yeah, a Panzer Wagon II. Um, the side of the box, different variants of colours you can do, which is in German grey, um, camouflage, German grey, German grey with a bit of green. Um, this side of the box, has potential what the little bit of the kit can look like. Same as this side. What the, this side here is you've got inside um, you can adjust how you want the uh, suspension to look for light haul which carries cargo, medium is for medium sized cargo and vehicles and anti-aircraft guns and stuff and heavy haul is transporting tanks. You can have it as a flatbed with no walls, flatbed with the walls down, flatbed with the walls up and um, arches for having a canopy. You don't get no canopy in this, you'd have to buy aftermarket or make up a fabric canopy yourself. Um, the trailer you can have in unloading position, loading position, you can have the trailer up with transport mode. A little bit of information on the kit. Uh, 14 years age old above uh, any, anyone is not a beginner I recommend this kit for um, medium skill level or high um, beginner I wouldn't recommend this at all because it's highly detailed and there's a lot of intricate parts to do and also this is not at all uh, a, a toy sorry it's, it's not a toy this is the other side of the kit nice box art again and back on the other side. Let's take a look what we get in the box. Grease with one box of absolute loads of stuff. You do get an, one thing I do note in this. You're not missing parts, but they accidentally screwed up the screw sprues with the with the letters. So letter sprue A is now sprue F. Sprue B is actually now sprue G, sprue C is actually sprue H. Like I said, part A is F, B is now G, and C is now H. So do not throw this away. We are greeted with a set of nice wheels. They are made of rubber. Truck wheels, again, are made of what nice rubber. The glass for the truck. We've got one bag of sprues, which is the wheels and framework. Another bag. Bag three. Bag four. Bag five. Six. Six seven. There's the wiring for the canopy decals, and you get two instructions: one for the truck and one for the trailer. I'm going to pop all this back into the bag quickly, box. I think the box. I'll take the construction quickly and go through the parts. It will be a little bit of a lengthy video because of the size of the kit. Come on. 
There's your nice decal sheet. Um, I believe it's printed by the company itself. I'm not, but don't think it's cartographer or, or anything. Um, there's only a few numbers and number plates, so not, you should have no issues at all anyway with the decals. It's not like an aircraft or anything where you've got sticking all over the place. Flat without bending them. So you have to bend them in that later stage. So you get your rods for your canopy if you wish to do it that way. So there's the two instructions. We'll take a look at number one, it's got colour call outs. Tamir, Mr. Hobby, Ammo, Nick, Vallejo, Humble, and, uh, Hobby Master. So if you've got any of those manufacturers, you should have no problems. If you don't have any of those manufacturers, then Screwed really. <laughs> uh, a little bit of information on the kit. Um, it's a heavy haul truck built in Germany. It's the name of the truck 1939 to 1937. In service until 1935 to 1945, so to the end of the war. Weight 9,000 kilos. Length 980 meters. Width 250 meters. Height 260 meters, one driver, no armament, in other words, it has no guns. Main and armament, none, because again, it doesn't have any weapons. Engine, Duitz F6M5171 diesel engine, 18,000 cc, or 8 cylinder, or 180 horsepower. Uh, transmission four speed FWD on 10,000 kilos it's cargo maximum speed 50 kilometers range 360 kilometers fuel tank 200 liters there's a sprue list you should have everything in your kit step one uh, anything is in blue is the uh, steps that you're going to be doing next. With Airfix, theirs is red, and red means you've previously done it, but theirs is the opposite, so blue is your next step. So it's putting the undercarriage on, fuel tanks, uh, all the struts. Next bit is looks like transmission drive shaft. Uh, these are, looks like um, the differentials. Oh, sorry, it is engine. It tells you anyway. Sorry, my bad. And then it comes to the suspension. Like I said before, you've got unloading normal and heavy. I'm going to be doing the heavy because I've got a Panzer two to go in the back of this, like it was designed to carry. Uh, step 21, more suspension, um, then it goes on to the steering linkage, uh, more steering linkage, then it's a drive cab, uh, the engine cowlings and stuff. Uh, getting the toolboxes ready, fuel tanks, getting the wheels prepped. You want to paint the insides first before putting them around the wheels, save them, mask them up, just paint them, slot them in, and then it's done. 
um, main running wheels, which is the rear, then front steering linkage lined up. I believe if you do it right, you can make it steer. Um, getting the bed ready, how you want it open or closed. More toolboxes, left and right. Wheel arches, some more struts, added junk. Jack, sorry, it's a jack you've got to put on. Um, small details, lights, handles, and then you're putting you on your roof, your uh, windows, the door. Again, you can, if you can do it right, I think you can have it open or closed. Um, having a canopy on, if you wish. You don't have to have the camera kind of on and you don't have to have the doors on neither. Uh, that part is where you'll be bending for the roof struts. And then you see here is some of the cargo it can carry. To like a Panzer One. A TS seventeen eighty eight flak. Said I'll be doing a Panzer. This is your one of your paint callouts. It's in German grey. And another one is in German grey. It's exactly the same, but it's just different number, number 10 and number 8. And this one's number one. So they're all three the same, pretty much. This one here, number eight, German grey with a little bit of green. Again, down here is the same as this one, number 8, but German Grey. This is a camouflage one, number 7. German Grey, number 12. Uh, there's number 12 again. And this bit is the guys that made the kit. So those are the instructions for the, the truck. Second instructions is for the trailer. Same again, same colour callouts as before. First part is you'd be starting with the wheels. Like I said before, paint the wheels before putting them in the tyres. Putting your wheels on the drive shafts. Uh, and the front steering part of the trailer because it's a dolly um, getting the uh, trailer bed ready at the frame getting the flooring of the trailer ready having it down or up position you see here some of the little Photographs of the real thing, the trailer down and carrying a giant tank artillery piece by the looks of things. It's pretty cool. You could also do that. It, this kit's going to be very good for a diorama. It's going to be superb. Um, in the up position, I'll probably have mine in the up position like this. Getting the wheel arches ready. Bit of uh, wall power power gander posters down the bottom. Nothing to do with the kit, but just more a little bit of art. Uh, more wheel arches, um, suspension, um, and jacks and stuff and detail parts. Making sure everything's lined up. Putting the first wheels section on the front, which is the rotating part of the dolly trailer. Some of the tools going on. Um, another jack, spare parts. Putting the spare wheel on, um, however you want your trailer, do you want it in the up position, down position, again it's got some real photographs of them working on, on the vehicle, how, how it gets loaded up, see this also is carrying a transport, um, the 
STK FZ124-1 um, I can't think what you call, call that vehicle it's the transport vehicle for the Germans um, it's a German version of, of oh, half track German half track yeah um, another one looks like it's got there's one where it's came in some Panzers Yep, there it is up in the up position, Karen Panzers. I might, I have Panzer by Tamir and I have a half track by Tamir. I'll probably do the half track on the trailer and do the Panzer in the back bed. It's going to be one, one, one hell of a project. That'll be up on the video after I've done the 109. I'll be starting this kit. So that's the instruction for the trailer. First bag. There's a glass. I don't want to be taking this out because I don't want to get scratched up because I'm going to be starting this after the 109. The clarity of this kit is superb. It's, you can see straight through it. There's only two windows and that's it. Which is the main, and some headlights. What I will do is at the end of the video there'll be a slideshow of um, the screws so you can have a good look at them, not pause it and have a good look. Right, these screws are identical, but it's the left and right side of, of the truck. I think these are truck wheels and trailer. So we've got the tools, toolboxes, part of the flat deck of the trailer, the wheels. Bag two, again, these two sprues are identical. This is for the truck. You've got the truck bed and walls. Um, the transmission casing by the looks of things. Some of the wheels. The detailing on this is crazily, crazily good. There's the suspension parts. Um, oil tank. Fuel tank? No, it wouldn't be fuel tank. It'd be, I don't know, sure. Oil tank, maybe. Not sure what parts these were. The fine detail parts. Even then, down, down to the rivets and bolts and stuff. It's and I know, and even the deck has got a wood grain in it. The, the weathering and detailing you're going to do on this is going to be crazily good. This bag here, we've got wheel arches, the flat deck for the trailer, again it's got all the wood grain in it, more wood grain, the the, 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 hutch, the hitch sorry, for the trailer, more wood grain because it's the flat deck, it's the frame, even down to the frame it's got a slight texture on it to mimic like metal, how they managed to pull this off I do not know. It's, the moulding on this is superb it's, it's, and you know, he's, even these little ejection pins which are there to stop any parts having ejection pins on them so you're going to get some ejection pins which are on the, on the underside which you're not going to see at all but these fine detail parts they've done these little pins so the pieces are going to be absolute crisp, crisp and clean require hardly any, any clean up I do like that about, about this. From a brand new manufacturer to come and pull something like this off straight away, it's, 
they've got potential in a later date. If they are pulling out stuff like this, their stuff in the future is going to be crazy good if they keep it up. It is on the pricey side, this kit. It's not a cheap kit. I paid £60, UK pounds, but it's not a cheap kit. There's the flat deck of the truck. Again, all the wood grain, bolts, rivets. The hood, again, it's got that texture of mimicking metal. Um, part of the truck again, the back deck, hood. This part here is for the bending of the metal struts. So it's like a jig. Um, wheel arches, again, it's got that texture on it of metal. The engine covers again it's got that textured metal another sprue has got fine detail parts and expansion parts, toolboxes, and really fine detail parts, jack as well down the bottom. Also another bag. You have the front grille of the truck. <clears throat> You've got um, a stretched canopy, which is really flat, which is a hard top canopy, so it's made of metal. Or you can have a soft top, which has even got the texture of fabric in it. That's that's good. That's cool. That's the, the detail on that is crazy. Um, more metal parts. Uh, sorry, these parts are the seat. Um, transmission covers, more fine detail, toolboxes, there's your drive shaft, steering wheel, more metal struts, more toolboxes, fine detail parts. The final screw, the last screw in the bag. Is all the framing for the main truck. So there's the main truck, truck, truck uh, frame, sorry. Wheel arches, more framing, toolboxes. There's the framing all the way down to the rivets. It's got that metal textured again. Um, exhaust, one big long exhaust. Wheel arches. Uh, suspension parts. Also you get two bags of wheels these wheels are for the truck nice tread they're not printed with any brand on them and you get another bag for the wheels for the trailer So there you go guys, there's the Farn L900 truck by Dutz Works, Dutz Fox, yeah, sorry if that's how I pronounce it like I said before, I do apologise if, if I butchered the name. Thank you for watching, comment, like, subscribe.
and I'll catch you later.